what's going on guys switch brew here and welcome back to another tutorial finally i do apologize for not uploading any videos recently i've been extremely busy with stuff around the house so i haven't had time to upload however what we're going to be doing in today's video is updating to 18.1.0 so as you can see my switch is looking a bit bleak at the moment and that's is that's because i've removed the custom theme so if you've got a custom theme set on your console you'll want to remove this first and once you've done that we can get started so just to show you guys if i head over to settings and scroll down to system as you can see my current system version is 18.0.1 however the latest version is 18.1.0 so what we're going to be doing is is updating to that now so what you'll want to do is like i said remove the custom theme if you've got one set once you've done that what we're going to do then is head over onto the computer and we're going to start getting the files together to update to 18.1.0 so i'll see you guys over on the computer so once we're over on the computer what you want to do is go ahead and download the 18.1.0 firmware files and the obviously atmosphere and ecati files which will all be in the video description and it'll be in one package so you don't have to go to any individual individual links to download everything separate so it's all going to be in a folder called 18.1.0 so once we've got that what you'll then want to do is you'll want to plug in your nintendo switch to the computer either via taking the sd card out and plug it in the pc that way or you can go ahead and hook up a usb cable via hecate which i'm going to do now so if you're using the hecate method and you don't know how to do it if you launch into hecate and go ahead and go over to tools in the bottom right hand corner it says usb tools and then you'll have an option in the top left corner what says sd card if you go ahead and click sd card and then you grab a usb c cable and plug it into your computer and then obviously grab the other end and plug it into your pc which i have just done you should see your nintendo switch pop up on the computer so once we've done this guys what i'm going to firstly do is back up a couple of files that i want to put in the new bootloader folder and atmosphere folder for example so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder on my desktop called switch backup and what i'm going to be doing is if i go into the bootloader folder because i have my hecate ipl set up in a certain way using the launch section in hecate i'm going to back this file up now so i'm going to drag this in and then my custom icons and boot screen for hecate i'm also going to back these up so if i go into res and go ahead and drag all these files from the res folder into switch backup that's just going to back up all my icons and background image for hecate so what i'm going to do now once i've backed all them up is i'm going to start replacing the atmosphere files with the new ones and etc so if i go back and back to the root of my sd card first thing i'm going to do is go to the atmosphere folder and rename this to old atmosphere so we're going to rename that to old atmosphere and then we're going to find the bootloader folder and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to go to rename and i'm going to rename this old bootloader so once i've done that what i'm then going to do is go into the 18.1.0 folder that you've downloaded and you'll be presented with these files here so what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the bootloader and atmosphere folder and drag these over to the root of the sd card and we're going to let them copy over with the switch folder i'm just going to go ahead and look for my switch folder on my sd card i'm going to open that up because i've got quite a bit of stuff in there I'm going to open the switch folder in the downloaded files and what i'm going to do is just grab all these files and drag them over and it, if it asks me to replace any of them i'm just going to go ahead and press replace so once i've done that i'm going to go back to the root of my sd card as you can see i'm then going to go back to the root of the 18.1.0 firmware folder what i'm then going to do is i'm going to grab the hp menu and drag that over to the root of the sd card and i'm also going to grab the file which is called hecate underscore ctc 
AER underscore 6.2.0 bin and I'm going to drag that over also. So if you have got a modified switch and it's got a mod chip in it, you will need to rename this file here to payload.bin. And as you can see, I have got the older version of the Hecatis payload here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So delete the payload.bin and this newer version, which is called, like I said, Hecate underscore CTCAER underscore 6.2.0.bin. I'm going to click F2 to rename it and I'm just going to rename this to payload.bin. Once you've done that, what you can do is go ahead for now and minimize your SD card. And what I'm going to talk about now is if you've got a V1 unpatch switch. So if you've got a V1 unpatch switch and you are using the likes of Tegra RCM to RCM into Hecate, for example, what you'll want to do is this file here, you can just go ahead and drag it onto your desktop and then Integra RCM where you browse for the payload to inject, you just want to select this file and inject it to your Nintendo Switch console. So the last thing's last, what we'll need to do is we'll need to open the Switch's SD card once again and we will need to drag across the 18.1.0 update file. So we're just going to go ahead and drag that over to the root. Once that's copied, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. I may speed up the video, I may not, depending on how long it's going to take. Like I said, once it's copied, we are pretty much ready to go back to the switch. However, we're just going to drop them back to files that I made earlier, such as the Hecate IPL and the custom icons back across to the console. So we'll let this finish and then I'll do that before um, going back into the switch. So that's copied across. I'll close out of these files because we've copied everything out of there that we needed to. So I can close that down. And what I'm going to do now is just put these backed up files back in their place. So if I go into the bootloader folder, as you can see, we've got no Hecate IPL there. I'm going to grab my backed up one, drag that into the root of the bootloader folder. I'm then going to go into res. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my background BMP and drag that in. And then I'm going to drag all my custom icons into the res folder. And if it asks me to replace them, I'm just going to click yes. So once that's done, what you'll want to do now is close out of everything. If you've got the, if, if you've got your SD card plugged into a reader or you've got your switch plugged into the um, computer via USB-C cable via Hecate, what you want to do is right click in the corner here and go to eject just to safely eject your device so no files get corrupt so what you'll want to do now is um if you're on if you've used the method via hecate and you've mounted your usb uh that way to get access to your sd card what you'll want to do is come back to the home screen in hecate and you just want to go ahead and press the reload button at the bottom what it's going to say then is it's going to say uh this ultra text blue loader dash update or bin to Hecate updates. You just want to go ahead and press the reload button. And what that's going to do is it's going to restart the switch and you should be on the newer version of Hecate, which I am, which is version 6.2.0. So it's probably going to ask you to set your date and time and everything. Just go ahead and do that. And then what you'll want to do is boot into custom firmware and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch back to the uh, switch back to the switch. Sorry, I'll redock it in my dock, and we'll go ahead and update the switch itself. So bear with me, guys, while I switch over to the switch. Peace. So, guys, as you can see, we've now booted back into custom firmware on the Nintendo Switch console. However, we are still on the firmware 18.0.1. However, at the moment, mine just says system update ready. So what we're going to do is obviously totally ignore that because you don't want to be updating your switch via um, the OTA update. You are going to be wanting to use Daybreak. So if you click B, um, what you want to do is head over to your albums folder and then you'll want to go ahead and launch Daybreak. Once we're in daybreak, what you want to do is go ahead and press the install button and you'll want to choose the 18.1.0 folder. So just go ahead and select this by pressing A. And what it's going to do now is it's going to go ahead and validate the update. So you just want to wait for this to 
validate and as you can see it says update is valid so you just want to go ahead and press a on continue when it comes to the select settings mode what you want to do is go ahead and press preserve settings when it comes to the driver variant what you want to do is press install fat32 plus xfat and it says ready to begin update installation are you sure you want to proceed just go ahead and press a on continue and what this is going to do now is it's going to prepare the update and it's going to install so we're just going to let that run through its course and i'll speed up the video if i need to depending on how long it actually takes so as you can see it's now applying the update it's at 100 percent. it didn't take long at all so now what we're going to do is you've got the option to reboot and shut down so what I tend to do normally is go ahead and press the shutdown button. Uh, I'll take the switch off the dock, go ahead and restart it. And then what we'll do is we'll come back to the video once the console has restarted. So I'm going to go ahead and press the shutdown button now. So guys, as you can see, the Nintendo Switch console has now booted back up. So when I shut the switch down, all I did was uh, take it off the dock, power it back on, and I was presented with Hecate, obviously, because I've got a patch switch. So I've got a mod chip in the console. What you guys will need to do is if you shut it down and you've got a unpatched switch, you'll need to obviously run Tegra RCM and re-inject the payload file that I showed you in the update files. And then you should be back in Hecate and you can go ahead and launch into custom firmware. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to quickly connect my controller up to the console and we're going to head over to settings. We're then going to scroll down to system and as you can see now we're on the latest version which is 18.1.0 AMS 1.7.1 and E stands for MUNAND. Hopefully you guys have got your console set up via an MUNAND now. I don't really understand why people still run custom firmware on their sysnand but that's up to you guys but in my opinion you should be running custom firmware on an emunand to prevent your console from getting banned so as you can see we're now on the latest version which is great i'm now going to have to go back and install my custom theme and everything but i won't be showing that in this video but apart from that, guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said earlier, sorry, I did. I haven't been uploading recently. I'm going to try and put more videos out. It's my bad. Next video, hopefully, it will be some Mario Kart 8 character mods. So I'll be showing you guys that. And just to let you know, as I've said previously, all the 18.1.0 update files are pre-packed and ready to go. They're not changed or anything. They've come directly from the GitHub's. However, I've just packed them all into a big pack for you guys, so it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. If it helps in any way, shape or form, please like, comment and subscribe. If you guys get any errors at all, just drop them down in the comments and I'll be sure to help you the best I can. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching the video. Peace out. See you in the next one.